Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Monty, and we are here with the Trent gameplay, as I didn't really play much Trent yet uh, myself, and I didn't watch many games. I just uh, matched someone who was playing Trent, but they weren't that successful, as Queen is currently with Fortuna Trent, uh, with Summoner, Harlequin, uh, Swords, and Witch. Uh, so let's run quickly with talents and equipment for both players. As we can see, Shomek has won this game. It's a, a, bit, a bit of a spoiler, uh, but he was playing uh, Spirit Master Fortuna, uh, Fortuna level 17 uh, to some of the surprise. Uh, so let's run quickly with the equipment first. Of course, Fortuna level 20, uh, level 10 item with six hammers already uh, upgraded. Uh, so it is set bonus for forest of course uh, chainmail with a legendary brotherhood uh, morally gray with stuff uh, level 15 and level 19 chainmail and amulet of growth uh, with forest faction on it and counter spell only one counter spell um, so that's a surprise um, for Shomak it's level 17 fortuna with level 10 item and four hammers upgrades it's knight's, knight's armor sorry uh sword to my surprise for spirit master and amulet of swiftness without set bonus uh some random spell bound spell doubling sorry uh, wherever a faction unit is absorbed or the merge rank of a faction unit is reduced there is a seven percent chance of summoning a unit of the first merge rank this can be good for uh, this enchantment can be good for Trent, but uh, yeah, that, that I would have to test that and double generosity, which is extremely good for Spirit Master. And uh, so let's run quickly with talents. Uh, all left sides to for Trent. Um, for Summoner, it's left, right, left, because you want as many tier ones as possible. Uh, swords right right left for the clans and all right left right for which polymorph for which that's surprise uh spirit master pretty standard spirit standard for um nice statue which as well hq all left and left right right for the scrapper uh, it's seven minutes three seconds i haven't seen a longer game of trend honestly so let's jump into the game and see how it will go but before that let's quickly learn a bit more how trend work as a unit uh trend attacks the first target that's pretty simple when appearing always has the merge rank of one uh so if we merge for example summoners and uh, tier 3 summoner that has ability to summon tier 2 unit it will be tier 1 instead uh, when two trends Trends merge a new unit is not formed instead the trend receives two leaf charges for every rank of the trend used for merging uh, units and abilities that increases rank give one leaf charge instead of increasing rank once every six leaf charges the trend increases its rank but it only has four merge ranks at each rank, the trend changes its shape, receiving new abilities, so new form of trend. At rank 2, it gains bonus to attack speed. At rank 3, it gains area attack. At rank 4, it gains a damage bonus, which is uh, pretty simple as if, if you think about it. Uh, the higher the rank, the more bonuses to, to damage to attack speed we get. And also trends are immune to effect that decreases ranks, instead they lose two leaf charges for each corresponding change. Uh, using mana power up reduces the rank of a random unit that is not a trend of the highest level. This grants one leaf to each of as many trends as the number of ranks the affected unit had. So for example, if uh, this ability uh, decreased our rank uh, which which was uh, tier 3 then we will get three leaf charges uh, for our trends uh, all right so that's it for the introduction of trend uh, let's jump into the gameplay 
Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in Rush Real Market you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code, and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MONTY whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. Alright, and we are in the game. Um, Alright, the tiles are pretty good for our trend. Uh, of course, Spirit Master is playing with Amulet of Swiftness, so he doesn't have to care about that. Um, oh, the, the tiles are not good. The Witch Tile got one of the Amulet tiles, but I think it still should be good. Uh, just because you need at least one Amulet of Growth tile uh, to merge on, uh, since the nerf that will reduce two of our... 2% damage per per boss pretty much per wave or boss in the death wave uh, So yeah, let's see Early game how she will play it um, As you can see she's already setting up three of her trends uh, using that summoner to fill up the board and to get the merge ranks of her trend of course multiple summoning is helping her with that that's why she's playing that talent. Mm, okay. So we see that she will set up this. Yeah, the setup will be three trends on the on the amulets. And I'm guessing she will set up two more at the top for the witch buffs. And maybe sixth one next to the other trend. But we'll see that. Let's speed up to times two. We'll go that for a few waves just to see what setup she is going for exactly. Uh, as you can see, using Fortuna on uh, off cooldown just for the bonus uh, stacks on her and also for um, mana, basically because Trent really requires you a lot of mana. Okay. Uh... So yeah, she is already at merge rank 3 on all of her trends. And I'm guessing that whenever the form of trend um, changes, then she's losing the sword sucks, but apparently she's not. So it's not a merge really, it's an upgrade. So the sword sucks doesn't go off from what I understand. But we'll see, this this tier 3 has sword stacks and we'll see whenever she um, whenever she decides to upgrade it or will be able to upgrade it. Yeah, so it doesn't lose sword stacks. Okay, that's interesting. And we can already see that she's going for the fourth fourth one next to uh, left amulet of growth tile. Uh, I'm just wondering if she will go for more, which is 5 and 6. Uh, okay. For now, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, she's already close to maxing her witch stacks, which is really good. Um, but for now, she's working her way to possibly make the fifth one. But we'll see about that. Okay, so for now she's not doing that. She's collecting the weave, uh, the leaf stacks. Okay. So what's the play here? I'm really not familiar with her with with Trump yet. It looks like she's making the fifth one in the weird spot. To my surprise. Uh, but we'll see about that. Maybe she will give it somewhere else. Okay, for now she's just trying to get not not to get stuck. Okay, so she's making the fourth one and then the fifth one. Sorry, and then giving it to already existing trends. So I guess that's the play. Play for the leaf charges. 
Okay, so four four trends is the play, I'm guessing. And then just making the fifth one uh, to not get stuck and giving the charges to, or, to the already existing trends. Alright, so let's speed it up. As this game it will get quite long. And see how much stacks she will get. So two of her trends are already at max ward stacks. Um, she's at 14 mushroom stacks, which is giving her 5% per 3 stacks. Uh, so one more merge and she will be at uh, 25, as my math is correct. Okay, so 21, 18, 16 and 16. All, all trends have max sword stacks. So what you are doing is constantly merging your trends and giving the leaf stocks to the trends. Yeah, 21, 21, 26, 25. That's quite high in my opinion. I didn't see that in my matches. So we'll see about that. So it seems like summoner is a way to, to do to go just to control uh, your your trends merge ranks. At around five five thirty we'll slow it down to times two to just see how the how trend slows controls the wave. Uh, because it's already two hundred mil as you can see she's already getting hit. And uh, she's already saving her, saving her witches. Okay. 37, 22, 28, and 28. She's constantly using the ability of trend to decreasing the merge ranks of non-trend units. But as you can see, it's getting harder for her to clean, clear the wave without Fortuna active ability. Uh, because I don't think Trent has any ability to to shred the armor. And as we can see, yeah. So it was a pretty close match. Uh, the Spirit Master in like next three to four seconds uh, was about to lose because of the mini boss that was coming. I don't think he was able to clear it. Uh, but the damage was. 10.2 uh, billion, uh, 7 minutes, 3 seconds, so 14 seconds away from beating the record. Uh, I think for the, uh, what is it, the second day that trend exists in the game, I think it's already high. Uh, maybe with some little bit of tweaking, maybe Trapper instead of Summoner, maybe that could work as well for the extra damage, because Summoner doesn't give you a lot of the damage. Uh, so maybe that could be it. Uh, yeah, just people have to test it and we'll see how it goes uh there we go uh some breakdown how the trend works and how to play it and with what hero what uh equipment and, and other stuff i think instead of stuff you could play sp uh, spear or sword as well maybe instead of summoner you could play chopper as well uh maybe banshee maybe banshee could work as well maybe crystal monster uh yeah just have to wait and see how and what is the best for trend but that's it for this video i hope you liked it and see you guys in the next video hey there thanks for watching and if you like the video please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton you can also leave a comment if you like as i read and respond to every comment thanks for watching